Hi, it's Tamara from Olardi.com, and I'm going to show you how to use essential oils in the bath today. Um, soaking in a nice bathtub with Epsom salts and essential oils is a great way to both get the benefits of the Epsom salts, i.e. the magnesium that your body can absorb, as well as um, get the therapeutic benefits of essential oils. So it is so simple to do this. I have about a one cup of Epsom salts in this jar. And my rule of thumb is about four to eight drops of essential oil per cup, one or two cups of Epsom salts. So if I was going to give this to someone as a gift, I would do this in this little jar. So I have my Epsom salts and I have Young Living's Lavender Essential Oil. It'll make a nice, relaxing, calming bath for either my daughter or myself. It smells so good. And I'm just going to put four drops, or maybe six. and give it a shake and then when it was time for the bath I would just dump this entire container in the bathtub and then add the water. What I do at home when I'm um, doing a bath normally, I don't have a lot of cute little jars like this, I just have my giant bag of Epsom salts by my bathtub. I scoop out one to two cups in an empty bath I add my oils directly to the bathtub and then I fill it with water. Um, and that way I can um, change and use whatever essential oils I'm wanting to at the moment. You can adjust this recipe for as large of a bottle as you want. If you have a gallon size glass jar, go for it. Fill it with up some salts and do the math and add the appropriate number of oils. If you are not a bath person, not everyone loves to take baths, you can pour these into a nice tub of warm water and just soak your feet. Like soak from your mid shins down. Your, your feet will absorb the magnesium from the Epsom salts and the benefits of whatever essential oil or essential oil blend you're using. So you can get the benefits that way if you're not a big bath person. Um, these are great for kids and adults alike. I use bath salts all the time. Hope you enjoy a simple recipe.